Hey guys, this week in our life in film we're talking about pet peeves or just things that make us really really mad. Let's go! You're gonna find a pattern and this pattern is gonna be lack of communication and it's hardly ever on my part. I hate when people make plans and don't follow through or cancel them or whatever last minute. It happens to me literally on a weekly basis. It drives me nuts. I just, I don't understand why you can do, like, you made plans for that specific thing. Yeah, just, why? If you're gonna change a plan, ask me before it happens. Don't just say, I've decided we're not going to see the movie anymore. Rude. I also don't like having allergies or um, anyone, especially myself, um, like vomiting. I just can't stand it, just, ugh, it's just so gross. Or uh, just being sick in general, I think it's uh, a waste of time, but also it, you know what being sick is like, it just sucks and I don't like it. I also don't usually like reality shows because I think that they're all really stupid. They're all really over dramatic and scripted and the way that the editing happens, it's just really, I don't like it. I also hate insects that aren't butterflies or caterpillars, especially mosquitoes. The night of prom, I went to a party and it was out in the middle of nowhere. There were mosquitoes everywhere. We weren't allowed inside the house. The next day, I counted like 38 plus mosquito bites and I have a whole bunch more now. It really sucks. I just don't like bugs. Spiders. Spiders. I don't like spiders. I also hate the new Disney and the new Nickelodeon ant farm and shake it up and Oh my god, they're terrible. A dog with a blog and uh, life with boys. How can it be a show? Literally, I sit on my couch all day and watch TV or I'm on the computer and I eat. That would be a better show than any of these shows. People who lie really piss me off, too. When people lie, I don't know. Why do you do it? I don't get it. Unless it's... No, even if it is for protecting someone, you just don't do it. There's no point. Like you, you shouldn't have to lie to these people all the time. Like, especially if it's someone that you're friends with already, or it's someone in your family, or someone you should have trust with. You just—it's a bad idea. Don't do it. Rude. When guys have longer hair than me, my hair. <laughs> my hair is pretty long, and if a guy has longer hair than that, then they have problems. And I mean, like it—it it might be okay for. I just don't like it. It doesn't spark my interest and I will probably never ever date a guy with hair longer than mine. I think it should be like short. I also hate when people are trying to find a song but they wait until they're like 30 seconds into the song before they change it. So you're jamming out and you're getting ready for like the big like the drop and stuff and then they change it. And then you're just kind of like, oh I didn't know I was singing by myself right now rude when people have mood swings like one minute they'll be talking about how much they love chicken and then they just start going on a rant about how much they hate their lives and how they want to kill themselves or whatever like just calm down if you hate your life that much then do something about it if you can't do something about it then just let it go get over it or something like if it's really serious I'm pretty sure those are the people who are there for you. I hate a lot is when people are really upset about something and they take it out on you instead of talking about it. You try and like make them feel better and they just kind of like slap you on the face. And I'm like, okay, well it'll get better. Like just give it some time or something. I'll say something. I hate it when my friends are upset because it just makes me upset and then I, especially when I can't do anything about it, I just try and be there for you. And then they just, yeah, well, fuck you, and they just freak out. If you freak out on me after I did absolutely nothing wrong, you can bet that I'm never gonna talk to you again. Ugh, stop, I'm trying to be here for you, and I'm trying to help you, so just take it, or just be like, okay, I don't wanna talk about it right now, I'll talk to you when I'm ready about it, blah, 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 instead of just freaking out and telling me that I'm invading your privacy when I'm trying to be a good friend. Rude. That makes no sense to me, but something I like a lot more than most things and people. I love Colorado so much that I'm gonna be there tomorrow. The next three weeks are gonna be basically collab videos. I'm really excited and um, yeah. And I'm also going to a One Direction concert on July 24th with Nicole and Emma and our friend Corinne. I'm gonna be with my girls, finally, and I've missed them so much. I've been away for two years and 
almost exactly two years. I will be in Colorado for the next three weeks, but I will still see you every Wednesday and even more. And if you have a theme of mine that you want to see, then let us know and you can talk to us on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Vine and Tumblr and our own main channel. Not all of them are but all of my social media will be in the down bar below. And if you want, you can let me know what your pet peeves are in the comments below. If you like it, or if you have anything in common with what I just said, hit the like button below and prove it to me. While you're at it, you might as well just hit the subscribe button and the share button and the favorite button. Don't let your pet peeves piss you off. Just let it go. Just be one of those people that's like, eh, I don't need it, I don't need it, and then just be happy. Because we don't need negativity because that sucks. And I think Nicole said, do things with people that don't suck, or do things that don't suck with people who don't suck, or something like that. So that's what I'm doing for the next three weeks. And um, so, until then, stay happy with a camera on Wednesday. Bye! Rude.